righty, St. Louis, it is summertime in the loo. And what better way to enjoy the summer than to gather around with friends and family for a good old game night. And we have two local brothers who are making some of the funniest games. They're here with us today. We have Jake and Phil in the house. Jake and Phil Wamser, yes. yep, and you nice. guys have Wham Wham. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is so fun. Okay, thanks for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, We're really glad to be here. You're welcome. Now, I have a question for you before we even dive into this interview. Okay. A little birdie told me that you guys were a Jeopardy question. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, we still have no idea. Uh, we've reached out to Jeopardy. We've asked them a few times, like, what happened? How did mm -hmm. you find us? Because up until, what was that, May 16th, mm -hmm. uh, maybe 300 people in the world knew who we were, like, wow. knew about our game. Uh, and then Jeopardy had a question for us. It was twists and turns were the two categories. Okay. Uh, and we were the $1,200 question under turns. It's right here. Nice. Uh, <laughs> nobody knew the answer because, again, 300 okay. people Okay, I'm going to read were. the question. It says, a recipe completion card game in which you try to build the perfect... Hot dog is called Turn for This, yes. and it must have been Turn for the Worst. Worst! Yes. I love that. Okay, yes. and this is upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought that was actually the box, though. <laughs> that is pretty cool. What yes. is Turn for the Worst? How do you uh, play it? So Turn for the Worst is a rummy style game. So there's lots of rummy style games out there where you're trying to collect different things. But we wanted to make one that kind of spoke to, I guess, where we're from and our heritage, and so we went with hot dogs. Nice, you right? can't so go wrong with hot dogs. It's a rummy style <laughs> hot dog building card game where you're trying to collect different condiments to finish recipe cards. Nice. Uh, all of our condiments are kind of goofy, silly mm -hmm. artwork there. Some of of them are little Easter eggs for different things in pop culture. Oh, fun. Um, and then the recipes were supposed to look like grandma's recipe box, right? Just the nice. lined, handwritten note cards. How did you guys come up with this idea? Uh, Turn for the Worst actually started as a joke. <laughs> um, a friend of mine had a typo in a text message, and I wanted to make fun of mm -hmm. her for it. And we just sat down, and we started having a lot of fun with the game. Mm -hmm. And so we sent it off to a friend of uh, Jake's from high school, yeah. and he did all the art. The art is done by a St. Louis guy as well. So this is completely St. It's Louis designed, this one. Yes. yeah. That is what we love. Now. <laughs> The, the best things always come from jokes, right? Yeah. Oh, Good yeah. ones at that. That is for sure. Well, people are loving this game, which was also a Jeopardy question. Yes. How cool. But now you guys are on game two. Yes. Okay, tell me about this next game that you guys have been working on. Uh, so we have our second game right now. It's called Shiner. It's a moonshining micro nice. game. Nice. So you're trying to make as much moonshine as possible in a five-card hand. Just like our first one, we made mm -hmm. a lot of references throughout the artwork mm -hmm. to pop culture and, and older things as well. This one's live on Kickstarter right now, so we're crowdfunding it Woo to try and get it into production. Okay, so we need everybody to head online, support their Kickstarter. I mean, Jake, tell me a little bit about why the community support is so crucial and critical for you guys. Well, we wanted to absolutely build games that are fun, mm -hmm. friendly, and accessible to our to our people, or to our fans, mm -hmm. but we also wanted to make sure that we were able to go out and see other people playing our game and enjoying that as nice. well. So. Um, the reason why your support is important to us is we just want you to have fun with our games. So if you're having fun, we're having fun, and we're feeling that we're successful. So if you can join us on Kickstarter and even look at the game, that'll help us. Share it with your friends and family. It would be very much appreciated. Nice. So I'm looking at this game. How do we play Shiner? So uh, <laughs> we weren't sure who was going to talk there. Uh, so Shiner is a steal and swap game. So the okay. first thing we would do is all these cards would get shuffled mm -hmm. up, and we'd take turns making our five-card hand by drawing okay. cards one at a time, picking mm -hmm. them up. And then we would steal and swap with each other. I'd take a card from your hand, you'd take nice. one from mine. We'd do that a few times, and we're trying to make either the most moonshine possible mm -hmm. or the best games have this aspect of ruining your friend's day. Uh, <laughs> and so we've got a way to do that in this game, too, where you can steal from your friends and, and take their points That away. is pretty cool. It's almost like a combination of what, old maid with pulling the cards. Exactly. And then what other game? And poker, just a regular po poker I was game. Say poker. Yeah, it's that's how it's been described by people at game conventions. It's that old maid meets poker cool. with a really fun twist. Okay, so how can people get their hands on this, or do we need to support the Kickstarter first to get it out into production? Uh, we got to do the Kickstarter first okay. to get it ready for production. All so right. it's live right now. We've got 19 days, which is still a pretty good chunk okay. of time uh, on our Kickstarter, but we're most of the way there. Nice. So how much more money do we need, gentlemen? Oh my gosh, trying to do math here. 38, about 3,800 okay. to do a production run. St. Louis, every single person underneath the sound of my voice needs to head online <laughs> to this Kickstarter for Shiner. We know community support goes a long way. We just need 3,800 people, oh boy, I'm about to do really bad math, to do $10. $3,800 a dollar. A dollar? But, oh my gosh. But we, we do we, have a print and play option mm -hmm. on here. So like this version right here is not the final version. The final version nice. will have foiled artwork and a fancy box. Ooh. 
But if you don't want the final version, you can get on there for the print and play, print your own copy, and then you've got it at home. See, there well. you go. Don't listen to me. Listen to him. <laughs> I'm doing bad math, okay? We need to eat $1 from 3,800 people or $10 from 380 people. Yeah, that would do or it. Or somebody is watching this and you know what? They just wanna say, here, here's $3,800. <laughs> Show them some love because we really do support local right here in St. Louis. If you wanna play this game, you gotta donate. It is Wham Wham Games from Jake and Phil Wamser, two local St. Louis guys who even reached out to another local St. Louis artist to create the artwork for these two games. You can head online, learn more about them at whamwhamgames.com follow them on Facebook and on Instagram and on Twitter show them some love and don't forget to donate to that Kickstarter don't go anywhere St. Louis we'll be right back after this quick break